Welcome to Half Moon Bay. Half Moon Bay is an idyllic retreat for nature lovers located right along PCH and only 25 minutes from SFO. It's known for its edge of the world ocean views and the largest surf on the west coast called the Mavericks, which draw surfers from around the world. The seaside escape has many natural wonders, wildlife and mouthwatering cuisine. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, we're gonna go rent kayaks and kayak around the ocean. We are at HMB Kayak, yes. join us. There's a lot of marine life here. There's people going crabbing, lots of seals. Right there is our hotel. One of the best parts about being out here on the water in Half Moon Bay is the abundant marine life. You never know what you might find. We just docked our kayaks and the water is so calm and guess what I saw? A sea lion popped its head out. It was so cute and magical. Mike, what was the coolest thing you saw? We are having such a fun time. I've never seen so many pelicans. There were some pelicans flying right in front of me and it was amazing. They were totally eyeing me while this was all happening. And you know, I'm getting a great workout. We're enjoying these amazing views, fresh yes. air. You can smell the salt in the sea air. And we're gonna show you some really cool sights here on this beach, so check it out. Sure. A little dog-friendly beach. We are at Pillar Point, and this beach is known for the waves called Mavericks. They're actually so big that you have to take a jet ski out just to surf these waves. Today, it's a little bit calmer, so I don't see many surfers out, but it really is cool to watch. Guys, if you are loving these sweeping beachfront views as much as we do, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe down below. Would you guys surf Mavericks? Let me know in the comments. Welcome to the Beach House Hotel in Half Moon Bay. We have a beautiful, luxurious suite. Mike's sitting at the desk here. We also have a living room area, fully equipped kitchen with stove top, lighthouse, which you can hear outside, a wood burning fireplace, nice and cozy. And our beautiful seating area. Speechless. We're at the beach house here in Half Moon Bay and we're here on a weekend retreat. Come and join us and enjoy this peaceful, beautiful location with us. Look at all this nature. We have a beautiful nature trail right in front of the property as well as the harbor and all of the ocean amenities. We just rented bikes and we're about to ride over to the Half Moon Bay Brewing Company. We're here in Half Moon Bay, California. Check it out. So we have a tasting flight of different beer and we have a bunch of IPAs, a pumpkin ale, and a local cider. Let's so try let's it. Let's try it out. Cheers. Cheers. So I'm trying the pumpkin harvest ale. This is made with local sugar pie pumpkins. Oh, it's delicious. Nice and smooth, kind of a light pumpkin flavor. We got the ahi poke, almost Portuguese fisherman stew. Avo means grandfather in Portuguese, and there's garlic broth and shellfish. Check out what they have for dessert. Fear me, Sue. 
Guys, we got the beer misu. Beer misu. Oh my gosh, it's made with real beer. So usually they soak it in amaretto, but here we have it soaked in beer. It's time to try the beer misu. Hmm. Oh, it does have kind of like that malty beer taste. It's really good. Wow. Deadly sneaker waves. Wow. Stopped off here to watch the surfers. While Half Moon Bay is known internationally for its maverick waves, there are also beaches that are best for beginner and intermediate surfers, including Surfers Beach, which is located right near the Half Moon Bay jetty. Look how beautiful this view is. We're riding along the coast. This beautiful trail goes all along the water. There's a number of really cool restaurants here and it's well paved. And we're watching the waves. The waves are huge. I love all of the, these tall coastal pines here. This is the Half Moon Bay State Beach. We found a swing. Oh my gosh, this is way too fun. Woo! Now we travel north on PCH in search of one of the most beautiful sunset views. Hey guys, we're in Half Moon Bay and we're checking out the beaches. We're here during the sunset and we're checking out one of the most spectacular beaches. This is just like Big Sur. Join us. This is called the Gray Whale Beach. It's one of the lesser known beaches. It is absolutely beautiful, windswept beaches. You can see the mountains cascading all the way down to the ocean. These sweeping ocean views are especially beautiful at sunset. We take the coastal trail down to the ocean for an up-close view. Uh, someone got caught in the ocean! Whoops. Peruvian food. La Costanera is a culinary experience that we won't forget. We are swept away to an authentic Peruvian restaurant that overlooks the Pacific Ocean. The restaurant is filled with artifacts from Peru. We're doing a tasting of three piscos. Ready? Let's go. Cheers. The head chef here, Carlos, is from Peru, and today we're trying the pisco, a type of brandy from South America. Our ceviche tasting right now. We We're going to start classic. with the classic, which is the ceviche pescado. And it has red snapper, ají rocoto, and leche de tigre. And this has sushi grade ahi tuna, the koto sweet chili leche de tigre, roasted mori, and wonton. How is it? Is it spicy? I love it. It's so good. And it's served with a sweet potato. Helps to aid in the spicy. So what? guys, I want to also talk about the quality of the food here. So they serve top of the line fish and you can really taste the difference. And I'm about to. Cheers. This is the scallops dish. This was recommended by the chef and it's done in a way where the inside is more tender and raw. So let's try it. Scallops carlitos. Scallops carlitos. This is so good. This right here is the pulpo and it is served with a salad, 
and Peruvian purple mashed potatoes. The sauce here is a mixture of chimichurri and aji amarillo. So here we have the pescado macho, which is really spicy and it's fresh caught snapper. And then we have the lomo saltado. Every dish tells a story about Peruvian culture. It's truly amazing. Trying the pescado macho, right? Oh wow, that is a flavor explosion. Oh my gosh, the coconut rice. And now we're pairing it with a Pinot Noir. Oh, just perfectly balanced, goes together so well. We have the panna cotta with vanilla and passion fruit reduction and seasonal berries. Suspiro limeña. We're at the Devil's Slide Trail. We're getting a little exercise today. And I wanted to tell you a little story about this 1.3 mile long trail. This was at one time a very treacherous stretch of Highway 1, AKA PCH. And it was the site of frequent landslides, accidents, and closures. The Tom Lantos tunnels were opened back in 2013. So they converted this stretch of public highway into a public trail. This has got to be one of the most scenic runs I've ever done. We are walking around downtown Half Moon Bay. There's a lot of historic buildings here built over a hundred years ago. And we just ate at the Benito Cafe. We're going for a walk on the town here in Half Moon Bay, California. Come and join us. Main Street. Strolling around the downtown, we check out the many shops, galleries, and eateries, and one of our favorites, pumpkin ice cream made from local pumpkins. So I just got homemade pumpkin ice cream here from Nano's Ohana. Mm -hmm. And they also have shaved ice. They even have a jail here, circa 1919. The county jail. Wow, look at this Art Deco gem that we found. Very accidentally, Wes Anderson. One of the biggest surprises was checking out Half Moon Bay Feed and Fuel, which had live chickens. We head into the hills and past farm pastures to get to one of the most beautiful redwood preserves. So we are right outside of Half Moon Bay and we went down this country road and now we're surrounded by redwood trees. This is called the Purisima Creek Redwoods Open Space Reserve. And look at this map. I mean, it covers quite a bit of ground and there's a number of really cool trails in here. Look at these trees. Just perched right here. You can see the light filtering through. This is just incredible. Wow. If you are liking these views as much as we do, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below. Look at this beautiful river. This is amazing. Words and pictures don't do it justice. You just have to come here to Half Moon Bay and go hike a little Ooh. more than two miles down and come and check yes. out some of these waterfalls. Waterfalls and we are under a beautiful shaded canopy, canopy. of trees. It it's is like, like air conditioning. Free air conditioning. Now we head back to the coast for some delicious seafood. 
going to Sam's Chowder House. Hey guys, we are at Sam's, Sam's. and this is an oyster bar and a seafood restaurant. Really amazing food. Let's go check it out. Views of the ocean. Hey guys, we're at Sam's and we're here enjoying amazing food. The menu at Sam's is a seafood lover's dream. We start with the crab cakes and then order the scallops, which is paired with pumpkin puree made from local pumpkins. We can catch the views of the bay right outside the restaurant. Ron Zeno with couscous. We got a lobster roll and we got the salmon with farro. The fish here is fresh and perfectly prepared, but save room for dessert. We got cannolis with pumpkin puree filling. Hey guys, thank you for joining us here in Half Moon Bay. We had an amazing time showing you around all of the restaurants, best places to shop, best places to walk around, best places yes. to take photos. And if you enjoyed it, be sure to check the links in the descriptions for all of our recommendations for this trip. And be sure to like and subscribe for more travel videos.